Next question is from Shell Keep Fit. Bodybuilders have to do some intense poses that often involve contorting their body in different positions. What specific mobility movements would be beneficial for a bodybuilding competitor? Oh, that's an interesting question. Yeah, I thought is. that was pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, so uh, I like, um, God, what a good question. I, I've never actually even really thought about this from this perspective, uh, but I know how much I have to like twist and rotate. Um, like when you're up and you're doing like, let's say a double bicep, or if you're a men's physique and you're doing the, the, your, your front pose, you actually are, you're facing one direction and you're rotating your upper body to kind of like, you know, twist your obliques and your abs. So that gets all tightened up. So I would think a, a, some good rotational strength stuff would be incredible for, totally. uh, for a, a bodybuilder for that reason. Yeah, if you okay, so let's look at the compulsory uh, bodybuilding uh, poses, and then these are the ones that you go on stage and you're required to do. And then, of course, when you do your 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 normal routine, where you can get creative and do all kinds of different poses, but the compulsory ones are front double bicep, back double bicep, front lat spread, rear lat spread, front. Uh, thigh shot and ab shot. And I think that's all of it. Most muscular, I'm not sure if that's compulsory, but it might be, right? So there's your poses. When you see when you when you see bodybuilders pose on stage where they typically have issues is their back double bicep, rear lat spread. So that's typically those are hard because a, a, a rear double bicep requires good enough shoulder mobility and scapular mobility to where you could both squeeze the back and spread the scapula. That's not a necessarily e easy thing to do. People either squeeze too much and give themselves mm. the appearance of looking flat or they round too much and now they don't bring out the muscularity of the middle of the back. So you'd want so the wall test mm -hmm. uh, in MAPS Prime would be great for that kind of control. And then some scapular mobility movements like uh, like wall circles or something like that I think yeah. could help for that. I picked this question uh, because of working with various models and different people coming through on our programs and everything. And the bodybuilding uh, side of it, it was I noticed a lot of immobility in the shoulders specifically. So that's to, to that point, Sal, I I definitely would – you know, would would emphasize that in going, you know, to, to present yourself in a certain way on stage to really open that up and and to be able to, uh, like, I, I was just imagining that, like, not even having the ability to retract and depress, like, like you should, yeah. uh, would affect the way that you're going to present your muscles on stage. Yeah, yes. what a, what a, what an interesting question. I really haven't thought, and you're right, Justin. Like, we, I mean, we had uh, some a bodybuilder friend of mine that did actually the he did the posing or did all the exercises. And anabolic, and uh, I don't think we were prepared to see his lack of mobility and how how little range of motion he had in his shoulders, and that is so. I think of that's a result of how he trains, right? No, one hundred percent. So I, I I definitely agree with the wall test circles. Uh, I, and thread the needle. So when I was talking about like totally. thoracic yeah. uh, oh, rotation, thoracic rotation be yeah, huge. yeah. So especially for like the men's physique guys, I have are, one even better for that. Hmm. So when so and these aren't compulsory poses, but bodybuilders and physique athletes, especially bodybuilders, like to do these twisting, you know, a rear double bicep, front double bicep shots. Or and the reason why you like to do it is because it makes your waist look smaller, makes your shoulders look wider. And by the way, as a bodybuilder, how you present your physique can make or break uh, your your odds of winning. I mean, there's there's in the 90s, I remember there was a bodybuilder, Paul Dillett, who standing there relaxed looked like he would win. He just looked like a monster. When he started posing, he lost every time because he didn't know how to present uh, his body properly. And one of the most difficult things to do are these twisting shots. And so it's that rotation and be able to have that good shoulder mobility. I would say uh, uh, windmill. You get really good at windmill. Um, you're able to create that straight line with your upper body, with the rotation in the lumbar and the activation of the uh, of the thoracic. Mm -hmm. I think be really good. Now, for those of you who aren't bodybuilders, I'm going to give you some interesting uh, tips that I think you'll benefit from. Forget whether or not you're posing in front on a stage or not. I think the bodybuilding poses have their own value. I think if you can practice holding these poses and squeezing them to where pretend like you're being watched on stage. So you're doing a front double bicep. It's not just your biceps that are being looked at. It's your chest. It's your abs. It's your thighs, your calves. It's the whole package. Hold these poses and try to maintain composure. They become great static tension exercises mm -hmm. just in and of themselves. So for the average person listening, if you're especially if you're working out at home and you're looking for ways to increase the intensity of your workouts or just add something, at the end of your workout – uh, go through the compulsory bodybuilding poses for about 10 minutes. Spend, 
hold them for 10, 15, 20 seconds like you're being watched by a judge and yeah. watch how you feel. It's pretty funny because the first time going through FRC, you know, like, and, and, you know, realizing that you can intensify that muscle squeeze and, like, that's the whole point of these types of stretches. Like, I was thinking about bodybuilding poses. I'm like, this is, they're just, like, set up in, in different, you know, different angles and your body's in different positions, but it's the same concept. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, if you utilize isometrics, it will really open things up for you.